Hey guys, welcome to Yahoo Movies on Facebook Live. I am Kevin Ploey, joined by our managing editor on Yahoo Entertainment and human Star Wars wiki, Marcus Erico. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, happy Force Friday. Today is Force Friday. It's episode, a national holiday. Episode two. Galactic right? holiday, yes. Yes. So Episode eight. Oh, well, episode Force two. Friday episode two. The first yeah. Force Friday was two years ago. Yep, for Force right? Awakens. And this is, uh, yeah, this is episode two. Does that, wait, does that make this uh, Attack of the Clones? Or? I hope this is. Or Empire Strikes Back. I hope this is artistically more successful, but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, all kinds of uh, <laughs> cool uh, toy releases in the Star Wars universe uh, that hit today. And we, uh, for the next uh, 20 minutes, are going to uh, play with all of our new toys. I mean, uh, carefully assess yes. and evaluate from a strictly professional standpoint <laughs> all of the latest Star Wars toy releases. Uh, we're gonna talk about um, you know, what we may have learned in terms of potential spoilers and uh, new characters that are in the fray in The, in the Last Jedi and just in the, in the wider mm -hmm. Star Wars uh, universe in general. Uh, so we might get a little spoilery if you're sensitive to that stuff. Uh, you might you might want to tune out. You know, I don't I don't think there's going to be any huge spoilers. All the spoilers that we present today are anything you'd find if you walked into your local store and read the back of the packaging mm -hmm. on any of the new toys, or if you went yep. to Amazon and you clicked at the product description. But right. that said, some people don't want to come. In, some people want to come to a movie completely spoiler free. So uh, in the beginning, we'll just go through some of the toys, and then we're going to get into what we might have learned or what mm -hmm. we, we think we learned. Um, and you can tune us out and just uh, check back later. Exactly, and uh, we'd love to take your questions and comments live. We're gonna be on for the next 20 minutes or so. Uh, so if you guys wanna join the conversation, you can, you can enter your comments or questions at any point in the comment section below this video. Uh, so Marcus, let's get into it. What, yes. uh, you, wanna, you wanna take us through some of these releases? I think we're gonna start with the elites. Well, we, well, we'll do an overview and then we'll get deeper into the different product lines. But um, we actually got an exclusive um, from the Disney store. They sent over, um, what they call their elite series figures. And uh, these are some of them in the front. Mm -hmm. And they're extremely detailed die cast figures, uh, all in like the six to seven inch scale. And they're available only at the Disney Store, Disney Store Online, and at Disney Parks. Um, but they're, uh, they're beautifully rendered and they show some of the, what we're expecting to be some of the characters that pop uh, from The Force Awakens, because you can always tell when they focus on the different characters, I mean, from The Last Jedi, um, when they focus on certain characters, um, those are the ones they expect to sell. So we're getting our first look at a Luke Skywalker action figure after no Luke for Force Awakens. Um, he's in full force Little for- Luke. Little Luke, Yeah. <laughs> good Luke. No, but in terms of action figures. Um, but interestingly, no lightsaber. So none of the Luke Skywalker action figures that came out yesterday in any of the various forms from Hasbro to Lego or anything had a lightsaber. Instead, he has a walking stick. I don't know if it's a weaponized walking stick or if it's just he's a little more debonair and uh, British, but um, channeling uh, Sir Alec. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's interesting. Um, don't know how that'll bear on the plot. Another character that we see, we've been seeing a lot of, is the elite Praetorian Guard, which is sort of the new riff on the Royal Guard from um, the red guy here, over here. Uh, he's, uh, they're, the, they're Snoke's personal guards. They're highly trained, um, and they wear this scarlet armor, and they have these bladed weapons, and they look pretty badass, very uh, much a samurai influence. Mm -hmm. Um, very bright. Very bright. Uh, and then the other new stormtrooper that we're seeing is something called, uh, Disney calls it the judicial stormtrooper. Elsewhere, some of the other toys call it the execution trooper. That has a very foreboding sound. If you have an execution mm -hmm. trooper, you think something's going to get executed. Yep. Uh, that's not a giant can opener in his hand. <laughs> that's that's uh, some sort of lethal baton that he uses, I assume, to decapitate people. Uh, we'll see, or open I giant. feel like now we're getting into like some Game yeah. of Thrones influence. May very well, mm -hmm. we might be, but, um, and perhaps. He's probably down with Phasma then, huh? May oh, maybe, probably. maybe there's a little, yeah, probably. maybe that's not a torture device. Um, and then uh, 
Lastly, and this is probably the biggest spoiler in this first round of toys, mm -hmm. is we actually get to see, and we don't have it here because it doesn't come out in the first wave of toys from Disney, uh, the Disney series, but it's actually Snoke. Mm -hmm. We get to see um, there he is. Snoke in his heft-like glory, rocking these <laughs> golden robes. Um, you can see his scars, he's no longer a hologram. We actually yeah. can see what yeah. Snoke looks so like. So much for the, the theory that uh, he was only a hologram. He was only, right? or that he was this tiny little creature. I, I'm kind of disappointed he isn't like Warwick Davis size. Yeah, I wanted him to be tiny Snoke. That was a really popular fan yeah. theory from Force Awakens, that he was going to be this tiny little guy, yeah. and he was just, you know, he had a Napoleon complex, and that's yeah. why he appeared in this giant I'm hologram. Dis I'm disappointed, form. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted him to be tiny. So in all the scales, he's about Chewbacca size in terms of height, mm -hmm. so he's a very tall, um, tall figure and uh, a commanding presence, we assume. Now, now, do we know who's gonna play him? Because, I mean, it was, it was Circus, who, is it gonna be, a, circus, is it gonna be still yeah. motion capture? As far as we know, it's still, it's still Andy Circus. He's mm -hmm. the voice. I assume he did the mocap too. I mean, if, if you need somebody to do mocap, there's no one better than Andy yeah. Circus. No, but it's interesting that like now his character looks like yeah. it could be manifested as a as, as a, a human character. So it'd be so yeah, it'd be we, weird to be just CGI only. They haven't revealed any of those details yet. Maybe mm -hmm. to keep the the secret safe as long as they could. But now that the toys are out, maybe we'll find out more details or see Snoke in an upcoming trailer or actually. Uh, manifested in a different way um, in official film photography. Mm -hmm. Cool. What else we got? You wanna get into some Lego? We, What's next? We can do Lego. The, the cool thing about Lego, uh, and we actually have- I'll bring this to the forefront. We have the heavy assault walker that we got our hands on, and we uh, put some great photos up yesterday uh, on the site, and we'll link to those in the comments section. This is the heavy assault walker. Um, you briefly see these in the first trailer. There's a scene where you see a bunch of um, speeders. They're actually, we learned they call, yesterday, they're called ski speeders, and those are resistance craft. And they're speeding along this, this planet. And as they're speeding along, they're kicking up um, this white dust layer that covers the planet. And it turns out underneath, it's a red planet. And that's called Crate. And Ryan Johnson told us at Star Wars Celebration that one of the big set pieces in the movie takes place on this planet, Crate. Mm -hmm. And you could see the speeders going off into the distance and on the horizon there were a line of walkers. And what we didn't know at the time is that these are not our AT-ATs from the original series, but these are called um, ATM6s. Uh, that's their uh, official name. Mm -hmm. And, uh, or as, as Lego calls them, the heavy assault, first order heavy assault walker. There's also a smaller version that Lego has uh, of the, the old scout walker, the chicken walker as they were called, but it's not nearly as, as chicken-like, uh, much more imposing. So mm -hmm. what we've learned from this set um, is that uh, it comes with Ray, it comes with Poe, mm -hmm. and then the chicken walker comes with Hux. So from what we can tell, Hux is leading the First Order assault on Crate, and Ray and Poe are leading the resistance forces into what Ryan Johnson promises will be a very visually arresting uh, battle scene in the movie. Um, so that's that's cool. the Lego, one of the Lego sets um, that's, that's out there right now. Uh, I, I don't believe we have this in studio today, but we gotta talk about this Millennium Falcon that they also released today. Uh, there's, yeah. I think it's 7,500 pieces, something like that. It's one. Uh, it costs a, a bargain basement price, only $800. Yes. But it is, a, it's a, a pretty pretty crazy uh, Millennium Falcon set. As, as Lego fans know, Lego, Legos are expensive to begin with, but they're, they're great for kids. They, mm. The sets range up in price from like, you know, $10 up to $100 for most of the sets. Um, over the years, they've released a lot more model-oriented adult collector kind of sets. They had a, a Death Star a few years ago, and they've done big versions of the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter. Mm -hmm. And the latest one, in, the greatest po possibly, is the Millennium Falcon. Um, but yeah, that, that is out today, along with all of the mm -hmm. Last Jedi related sets. We'll, we'll get that eventually, and we'll do an entire Facebook Live of, just devoted to the us, two of us trying to put that together. together. Yeah, yeah, it'll 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 take us a while. A week long. Yeah, it, but it comes with it comes with Han Solo, and it comes with I think Lego Porg. Does is, it? I believe so. Which is a segue. Segue. We gotta yes. talk. We gotta talk about some new characters here. Yes. Yeah, you so, know who I want to start with? I want to start with those Porgs. The Porgs. Okay, so as you guys might have seen um, from the Entertainment Weekly story, 
uh, Ryan Johnson created these penguin-like, puffin-like creatures uh, inspired by the actual wildlife on Skellig Michael, which is the planet Octo, um, where Luke Skywalker is, where the first Jedi temple is in the Star Wars universe. And so th this, this real island in Scotland is covered with uh, puffins. And um, mm -hmm. Ryan Johnson was shooting and he has puffins in a lot of the background scenes. So instead of digitally painting them out, he was inspired to create a new character called Porgs. Um, and we've seen them, they're in a lot of the, the toys uh, with Chewbacca. So obviously mm -hmm. Chewbacca interacts with them. And uh, we believe um, by the looks of it, Disney is banking hard on this being a really cute uh, sales I mean, item look at, at it. the they're holiday. So yes, so, so this is so freaking cute. So this is the Disney store version, and then this is the Hasbro version. It's an interactive version. If I touch it, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> so for you parents out there, it's like, uh, just, it's it, like just when you think it can't even get cuter, it does yeah. that. The batteries are removable, so uh, you don't have to listen to boo ee boo ee all uh, all. <laughs> that is good. Hop through good. the holiday yeah, season, yes. but um, yeah, the best toys are the toys that don't make any noise. Yeah. Oh, That's the batteries are dead, and we don't know yeah. where any mm -hmm. batteries are, and they usually buy that. We don't keep batteries like in the house anymore. Six years old, yeah. and then, we're always out of batteries, and they rebel. Yeah. Um, so so wait, 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 let's talk about let's 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 speculate for a second on the Porg's place in the Star Wars verse, okay? Well. It is, we can only speculate, obviously, but it's cute now. Are we gonna love him? Is it gonna be, I think that's the big question around I, the Porg. Everyone lo loves him now, but is it gonna be like BB-8 where everybody loves it? Is it gonna be like Ewoks where it's kinda 50-50? It's kinda or is it gonna be Jar Jar? Well, one thing is that I really trust Ryan Johnson as a filmmaker and um, he has a good sense of humor and I'm hopeful that these are more in service of the plot rather mm. than toy sales. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, I know there's a lot of trepidation among fans ever since these photos first came out and now that the toys are here, they think that we're going to have more Ewoks and somehow they're going to be um, used with Chewbacca. They're gonna team up with Chewbacca to present a problem for First Order forces. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna get into, the, I have a, a, a Hot Wheels set that I wanna break out a little bit later okay. when we get to the more spoilery section. And um, that might, the Porgs might come into play a little bit there too. Okay, cool. What do you want to hit next? Well, um, we we're talking about some of the figures that we think will be really popular, the breakout mm -hmm. of this year. We said the Praetorian Guard. This is the Jax uh, Big Fig version. Um, many of you are familiar with Jax. They uh, are supersized action figures. So we have the Ray, and uh, interesting enough, this Ray, um, there's multiple versions of this, this action figure, not just from Jax, but also from Hasbro, from Disney. Um, from Lego, and this is officially called the Jedi Training uh, Ray. This is her garb, so she's obviously in Jedi training mode. Um, but she still carries a pistol, which, mm -hmm. I mean, a blaster, mm -hmm. uh, which is interesting because Jedis usually don't, don't double dip. They're usually reliant, but um, then we, we said the Elite. Uh, Kylo Ren is back with his, uh, with his lightsaber, which I thought might have been destroyed at the end of the last movie. Mm -hmm. His helmet has a, looks like it might be a little bit more uh, uh, ornate than it was in the previous movie. It mm -hmm. looks a little bit different from the last movie because we know that he didn't have his helmet with him. Uh, he had taken it off when he fought Finn and right. Rey at the end of The Force Awakens. So maybe he's retooled in, in, even a scarier looking version of his helmet. Uh, we mentioned the um, the execution trooper. That'll be in the next wave of big figs, mm -hmm. uh, but um, no Snoke. So, and then behind me, you can see the giant version of the uh, big fig First Order Stormtrooper. Mm -hmm. So they come in hey, sizes we, from well, 20 Well, we, should, we to, should mention something. He's not actually this tall. He's, he's, he's yeah, propped up he's, on a table here. He's snow he's, kite. Yes, he starts <laughs> about here. Uh, what do you yeah. say? I, I'd say about, what, three and a half feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 36 inches. I, I, I forget the exact uh, measurements, but yep. they come in different sizes, hence big fig, and this guy's mm -hmm. a giant fig. And then the other new character that we've seen, um, as many of you remember from uh, the uh, Force Awakens, probably 
the company that really won Force Awakens was Sphero, the robot toy maker, with their BB-8. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was an app-controlled robot droid um, that interacted with you. It interacted with, when you watch the movie, it, it like booed kind of when the bad guys came on and cheered with the heroes. So Sphero is back and they've released two new app-enabled droids and all the droids now work together through a single app. And this is the basically the evil version of BB-8, BB-9E. And from what yes. we can discern, he's, he's hanging out with Kylo Ren. Yeah. Uh, and Snoke. So. I love that they went like straight soap opera with this one. They yeah. actually brought BB-8's evil twin brother. Evil uh, twin. So, uh, and then also over on the far end, uh, they've released an R2-D2 app-enabled droid. Uh, he's on the other side if you want to mm -hmm. grab him. Sure. Um, well, here's, and so, here's, here's a, here's a, I have a question for you, John. They all BB will work e. together. Why BB-9E and not just BB-9? I don't e I know. E stands like for just, evil. Maybe. That's a guess? Know. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't see why they have to overcomplicate it. So the cool thing about Sphero is that they really go all out with their, um, with their packaging. So let's see if we can open this up. And then, I mean, let's, let's talk, uh, while you're doing that, let's talk prices for a second. So from what I understand, the BB-9E uh, will cost you $150, well, technically yes. 149 uh, and I think R2 is in the is in the ballpark of 179. So there's your look at the packaging. And then this lifts up. And BB9 comes here. And then the cool thing that they did is in the bottom of the box, they have this little so these, these can roam all over your house mm. and floor. And you control them with, with your cell phone. With your cell with phone, app, with, with your, your Android or iPhone. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with a little trainer that both BB-8 and BB-9E can go on. And it's like a little treadmill. And there's now um, little games on your app that allow you to tool around like a Star Destroyer and some other things So without him going anywhere. So it, it practice, you can practice driving him around. And he has his own little trainer now which is a really cool feature. But so BB-9 is another popular character, so popular that Hot Wheels, they have a line of, they call them character cars. So they have the guys who make Hot Wheels. Of course they do. <laughs> um, the guys who make Hot Wheels actually take the characters and they convert them into cars. Mm -hmm. So they did a BB-9E uh, character mm -hmm. car uh, that looks pretty cool. It's a little buggy. And of course they have the uh, Praetorian Guard, which is one of the breakout characters. And then this is a cool one. They did a Luke and Ray uh, double set. So um, cool. those are some of the Hot Wheels character cars that are coming out. So let's move this guy out of the way. So what you're saying is eventually we could see a, uh, a Disney Pixar Lucas film car sequel with all Star Wars cars. I, you, I bet, know, you better, and yeah, yeah, you better get you know a lawyer there. and market that idea. You know we're going so there. Uh, that sounds cool. Cool. What's next? So over here, speaking of BB-8, this ginormous BB-8 is a Spin Master made. Basically, it's a pet BB-8, and uh, I believe it's about two hundred and twenty-nine dollars. And this is remote, it has a, both a remote control function, mm -hmm. and then it also will respond to voice commands, mm -hmm. and uh, it has a follow me mode, so we'll actually follow you around like a puppy dog around your house. So this is near almost, uh, not quite life size, but mm -hmm. enough to um, you know, terrorize your cat and small children. <laughs> okay, I feel like we're on like the QVC. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it feels like. This is not, I, I've always so, wondered. So, then the other, there's another BB-8 here, and this BB-8 okay. is is different. This is uh, more delicate. This is delicate. Now we didn't actually assemble this fully because uh, two back here. I don't have the time to do it beforehand. But Hasbro, um, Hasbro's great with the three and three quarter inch, and they have the Black Series figures. Um, they've created a playset, and the, on the outside it looks like BB-8. And if you push some buttons and flip things around, and I didn't quite build it, uh, but it becomes, this will all open up, and there are platforms mm -hmm. and things that shoot, but it becomes Snoke's. We do have a Snoke. Star Destroyer, and this is the Hasbro version of Snoke. 
um, and he comes with this set. And then Hasbro also has a little, they call it the force link band. It's over there on the end. Mm -hmm. Again, we don't have batteries. It, um, but what happens, you put this on your wrist, and with all of the figures that have a little symbol, a little blue symbol on their, their foot, if you see it there, um, all of these figures do, and the sets do as well. That means it's force link enabled, and when you hold this up to it, um, they'll speak lines from the movie. Hmm. Non-specific spoilery, line, non -spoilery lines, mm -hmm. like get them, or the resistance must be stopped, but uh, it's pretty cool. So it adds another layer of play to your traditional action figures. I was gonna say, Snoke is one ugly dude. Yeah, and then the other weird thing about Snoke, and I haven't figured this out, is he had this, has a ring on, so I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if- It means uh, he's married. He's married, <laughs> he's married, so. He's taken. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and then the other thing that we were talking about Hot Wheels before, Hot Wheels also has a set, and these are really cool. I would have loved these when I was a kid. They've released um, Hot Wheels versions of the, of the spaceships um, and starships. And so uh, the, this is Kylo Ren's uh, fighter. It's this TIE silencer. He modeled it after his grandfather's uh, TIE Advanced. This is, a, this is the, the walker, and this is a new ship, uh, the Resistance Bomber. And this is where Laura Dern's character hangs out, um, Poe Dameron. And we see briefly in one of the scenes that there's a um, space battle. And so we think it involves them and potentially Snoke's dreadnought Star Destroyer. Cool. So, yeah. Great. So do um, you want to talk spoilers now? Yeah, let's talk, we can talk a few spoilers. So, okay, so well, what would you say? What, let's, what would you say are the biggest? What, what, have, what, are, what are the biggest reveals that we've seen? I mean, we've gone through everything now, but if we're going to get into sort of like the assessment of what this means for, for Last Jedi, what are what are the biggest spoilers revealed? Well, um, we'll start with the the not quite the biggest, but one that I think is interesting, and it might not be a spoiler. It might just be the to a coincidence. So. This is Hot Wheels um, set. It's a Millennium Falcon track, like a traditional car track. You can race your character cars that I showed you. And it comes with Chewbacca and there's stickers that show the Porgs. So this is obviously set on Octo, the, the planet um, where Luke is at the beginning of the movie, where they fly to at the end mm -hmm. um, of The Force Awakens. And the, the product description um, says, the Millennium Falcon has broken down and must be fixed for battle before the First Order launches their attack. Um, so that just got, got us thinking that maybe somehow the First Order has tracked the Millennium Falcon to Octo or has figured out that Octo is where Luke Skywalker is. And we know that there's, um, we know that there's some tension between Luke and Rey and he doesn't mm -hmm. want to train her at first and he eventually starts training her. But perhaps First Order comes to Octo mm -hmm and forces Luke into action. Luke doesn't want to go into action. His hand's forced by maybe the First Order coming to the planet, tracking him down, and he and Rey and Chewie and the Porgs might have to battle the First Order and get out of Dodge on the Millennium Falcon. That's, that's one theory that we've kind of been okay. ba bandying around. Then the other, the other thing that we've learned is that it looks like Snoke and his Praetorian guards are going to be in battle, because this is the box that the Snoke playset comes in. Mm -hmm. And if you look closely at the, um, the art on it, you see that uh, Snoke is up in his throne room with his guards surrounding him. The, the um, stormtroopers are battling, and we can see by this, this artwork, Poe's X-Wing fighter, the black X-Wing fighter, is in the distance coming in. <laughs> and then inside the ship, we have Rey and her lightsaber. We have the new character, Rose, mm -hmm. who's up on the second level, and we have Finn up uh, just below Snoke. So um, it looks like there's going to be a big battle on board Snoke's, uh, Snoke's Star Destroyer. And uh, it looks like you know Snoke's gonna be mixing it up. Who knows mm -hmm. what's going to transpire. But um, Ryan Johnson promised a couple of big battle scenes and set pieces. We know about Crate. Mm -hmm. so we know that there's going to be a space battle, and, it looks like it's going to, you know, it really come down and involve in Snoke himself. So, cool. Uh, we've only got a few minutes left, so I want to so get to some yeah, questions some we questions. have here on, on Facebook Live. Uh, first one from Karen: Which figure are you most excited about? 
Um, well, I was most excited to see Snoke. I'm not sure I'm excited that excited after seeing him. You know, he's in his half robes and he's all he's all mangled. Uh, I like the vehicles. Hasbro has a, a bunch of uh, three and three quarter inch vehicles. Um, they have the Tie Striker, where in the product description it mentions that Kylo is as good a pilot or is on his way to becoming as good a pilot as his father, Han Solo. So there's a um, call back to poor Han. Mm -hmm. And we also notice that Poe Dameron's wearing very Han-like uh, gear. Um, we have, uh, yeah, there's there's um, Poe. And there in his, that's called the ski speeder. I mentioned it before. That's the, what they're flying around on crate in the trailer that we've seen. Um, there's also, uh, the, at one point, we know that Finn and Rose go off on a mission to Canto Bight, mm -hmm. which is discovered, uh, described as sort of like a Las Vegas planet. It's a um, big casino planet. And we have uh, the Canto Bight police. And I, that's going to be, I think, their version of the twin pod cloud car from um, Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, one thing we I know that it was also released today that we don't have in studio right now. There was a radio flyer land speed yes, they that should. was released. They, they had that. that at, uh, you can cut your kids around in uh, for only five hundred dollars. That was at Comic Con. They had that on display, yeah. and, it's, and that was released today. Right? It's based on Luke's yeah. land speeder yeah. from the first Star Wars: A New yep. Hope, and uh, it was one of the popular photo yeah. ops at Comic Con. So, if your kids are really, really spoiled. That's that's a that's a good uh, Christmas present if there's any left after today. Uh, let's see from Kristen. What is the most spoilery toy released today? We we, we hit that a little bit, but yeah. what, what's the what would you say is the single most? Um, I think it's just in general the uh, the Snoke stuff. They've been mm -hmm. really secretive, and and so it means that there's probably a lot more that we don't know than we, we do because Lucasfilm wouldn't. I know that the Snoke pictures leaked earlier, and so mm -hmm. they, their hands were kind of forced, but. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just seeing him in the flesh or in the plastic, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's kind of a, you know, a big, one of the many questions left from The Force Awakens mm -hmm. was answered pretty quickly by the toys. Uh, Adam is going deep nerd on us. He wants to know, do we get a glimpse of Luke's new old lightsaber? No, like I said, Adam, uh, no lightsabers for Luke at all in any of the toys. So mm -hmm. um, they're keeping that under wraps. And then, uh, I mean, just a, a general question for you, beyond, beyond what all of these toys have revealed to us about The Last Jedi, um, are there any implications from these toys for, for other Star Wars movies to come? Are there any, anything that hints at the, the young Han Solo movie? Anything we can read into there? No, but uh, not for the young Han Solo movie. But there's the, no there's no Ron Howard action figure. Yeah, that would be today. cool. Like I would, the I would Opie, want, Yeah, I would take that. The OP character car. Um, but Hasbro, uh, all of these manufacturers, they not, don't just put out the new stuff for the new movie, but they, mm -hmm. they do callbacks for some of the classic movies. So we've seen there's a new uh, Darth Vader TIE Advanced drone. Um, there, and there's also a, a, a speeder bike drone, all from this company called Propel. And they, these are like higher end quality drones that, have, that are app enabled. Mm -hmm. And there's an X-Wing that too. Um, and then uh, Hasbro released a new Luke, uh, new Han Solo Boba Fett two pack. So two characters that mm -hmm. still have a huge amount of sway in the fandom. Um, they're not disappearing, even though they both might be dead in the actual universe. Sure, sure. Uh, finally, I mean, what is your you know what is your you're you're a pretty hardcore collector when it comes to all this stuff. Uh, what is your advice for for all these? folks out there and how to get their hands on this stuff. I mean, how quickly is all this stuff going to sell out? Well, it was funny. I went to Disney last week and I talked to uh, one of the executives from Hasbro who kind of admitted that they biffed it last time. They didn't have the supply to meet the demand mm -hmm. for Force Friday two years ago. I know that was a big complaint among fans. They couldn't get their hands on any of the new merch. Um, he promised that they are really uh, going to deliver and they're, everything um, they promise that there'll be stock for everything. So if you go to your store, um, you should be able to find a lot of this on the shelves. It, it won't just be empty pegs or like characters that nobody cares about mm -hmm. uh, swinging on a single peg. Um, you should be able to find most of this in your stores, your big boxes, your Amazons mm -hmm. uh, today, right now. Um, and then one thing that's cool that Disney did and Lucasfilm did, if you download the Star Wars app um, and you take it to the store with you and you see this little logo that says, um, I believe it's called Find the Force, and it's Ray with a lightsaber. 
and you scan it with your phone, mm -hmm. it'll create an augmented reality character that you can go and get your photo taken with. And there's, there's 15 different characters. You can unlock them. It's a little treasure hunt. If you nice. go around to the stores um, and pose with like the Porgs or Adam, Admiral Akbar, and, mm -hmm. you know, Ray, Luke. Nice. Yeah. So it cool. gives a little incentive to go out shopping cool. as if you needed any. Right, right. Cool. Uh, well, I think that, that about wraps up this Facebook Live on Force Friday, too. Thank you, guys. Marcus, thanks for all your insight yeah. and all the toys. It was very fun to play with you guys. Thanks for all your questions and comments. I'm going to go cuddle with my Porg now. You do that. Uh, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks. Yeah.